welcome to this channel so in this video we are going to learn about how to use for loop to insert multiple data into the table so first we will check one table from the public schema so we'll write select star from public dot employee employees one table in the public schema so we'll I have selected some records so there are total thousand records present but we'll delete these records delete from this table so we'll delete all the records from this employee table so there is no record present in the table right now so here you can see there is table is empty so now we will write a code to insert multiple data using for loop into the employee table so we'll use one do block here so uh, the syntax of the do block is do dollar declare then begin then end then we have to close this block so this is the do block inside this do block we will uh, uh, write a code to insert a multiple data so we have to declare i this is the record then from here we can start writing for loop for i in one two thousand we have to insert thousand records at a time into the employee tables then we have to start this loop then and loop so in inside this loop we'll write insert statement so insert into table employee here i have not mentioned any schema because by default it will take a public schema so insert into employee values then first column is employee id so it will be one comma uh, employee name will be Ramesh then employee salary will be 56,000 then employee date will be the current date so this is the insert statement but we have to insert the unique data here so we'll use one variable here vnum it will be the integer and the default value will be the one and every time we have to increase this one so we'll write here vnum plus one and will you will concat this one will plus here will plus this vnum here and we'll concat with the Ramesh. Good. Casting is required here because a concat function is on a string function. Then 56,000 here also we need to use plus Vnum and uh, for every record we are inserting uh, a current date so this is our do block so again we'll explain this do block here we have started this do block then declared one uh, a a record here i record we'll use this one in the for loop and this is one variable vnum uh, it is an integer and by default we have given one uh, to this variable and we'll use this variable into the uh, insert statement so this is the for loop i have started one to 1000 records means uh, 1000 times it will this loop will be executed so uh, we'll get the 1000 records here into the employee table so this is the insert statement insert into employee this is the table uh, values this is the uh, stay insert statement command and uh, uh, I have uh, added some data so data also I have added uh, unique data here so um, this first employee ID 
will increment uh, uh, by one then concatenated uh, here uh, we have used a uh, concat function then 56,000 uh, added one uh, variable value also so this is the loop uh, I have written so we'll execute this loop and we'll check the result so I'm going to execute this loop so uh, the query is written successfully so we'll check the employer records so there are total there are total thousand records here you can see employed is uh, it is increment it is uh, uh, incremented sequentially and employee name also here you can see after numbers there is one two three four five uh, sequence it is because of that variable minimum employee salary also we have uh, added one in each salary so here you can see the difference and we have used the creation date uh, as a current date so uh, for every record there is same creation date so this is the insert statement we have written using for loop and we we can use multiple data uh, to uh, we can uh, insert multiple data using for loop we can validate multiple data using for loop we can perform any validation and uh, uh, any insertion using for loop so this is the simple way uh, to use the for loop instead of cursors we can use the for loop in sql and in procedures in uh, so any uh, to write any business logic so this is the simple and basic uh, concept of the for loop if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please uh, hit the like button thank you